All right, I feel like we're gonna have to probably maybe just start broadening our horizons and just horizons and shit. You know what I'm saying? Showing other cars that hit the junkyard. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it hurts seeing some of these motherfuckers hit the yard. However, comma, this one hurts just not as bad. I used to want me a Roadmaster, man, when it was a time when I couldn't find a box Chevy. I used to want me a motherfucking Roadmaster, nigga. Big bulky bitches just like the boxes and the bubbles. Big ass trunk, put your, put your slam wham music in there. You know what I'm saying? This one right here is a 1995. 1995 with the LT1 in that thing. Unfortunately, it had that Opti Spark bullshit on it, but yeah. This day and age, if I had the opportunity, put this motherfucker back together. Unfortunately, this is another one of them cars that wasn't a whole lot of, or they hard to come by, or things of that nature. But Roadmaster, one of them ones. Let's see what else we can find. All right, this is another one, man, Impala. Uh, I think this year, or this body style started in 03. You know what I'm saying? Especially with them, that style wheels. This one is a, yeah, 03. Yeah, I graduated. Front wheel drive, you know what I'm saying? Probably received some hate for that. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a V8, no more Impala. But, I mean, it grew on you. You know what I'm saying? It grew on you. I feel like the styling was dope for this year. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, like that, how a car look, how a car looks from the back is very important. And I felt like the Impala of this generation really pulled it off well. You can drop the bag on some shit, but this is, I won't say it's an iconic brand, but it's definitely one of the ones. All right, Buicks. <clears throat> Buicks, another, I won't say hood classic, but hood classic. <laughs> Loved by the old folks and the hood niggas alike. <laughs> We got a LeSabre, 92 to 99. And we also got 2002 LeSabre. Now, me personally, I like this body style just because it seemed like it was a bigger car. You know what I'm saying? This one was a little bit smaller, but like I said, both, both staples during a time on the road. You know, Buick is just, Buick is just that though. You know what I'm saying? Buick is luxury. Not a Cadillac, but it's, it's upper, upper echelon, even over the Chevy, man. So, major shout out to them. Man, this is another one. Another Buick, but it's the Park Ave. 9705 and this I feel like was a step up. It's a 98 Buick Park Ave. Like I said, I feel that they was a step up from the Sabres, but I don't know how the I don't know how the Buick hierarchy goes, but this one definitely seen better days, but that color, even in, even in its faded appearance. 
Yeah. That's your 05 Buick LeSabre. So, I mean, really, really, if you look at them side, side by side, then it's like, yeah. Another one of them boys. Man, this one right here, I feel is another classic, man. Like the Blazer this year, 84 to 94. Preferably the two though. But this is another one of them ones, man. Another one of them fucking ones. Probably can't find a whole lot of parts and shit for them. I don't know if there's even a whole lot of aftermarket support for them, but the love, the love to have that bitch with the fucking tailgate and the back glass with the Chevy across the back of that bitch. Oh my God. How cute you niggas. Let me find one in this old for y'all. Oh, look. There's another one. Fucking Tudo Blazer. 89. Oh, I would love to have this motherfucking truck. <sighs> but we got a lot of shit now. We just, we just now getting to the end where everything is copacetic. Everything's gonna be moving on its own power. Some shit, but god damn. Love to have this motherfucker. Oh yeah, baby. If I couldn't if I couldn't get a box, I'd definitely get one of these bastards. 9-8 Regency. Didn't have the lights back up there, but it had that light back here. Motherfucker pressure. 1982. Got the steering column out of here, bitch. Oh, yo, man. What a, what a time to be alive, bro. They don't even make them like this no more. What a time to fucking be alive. Whew. Got a 98 Firebird. With the V6 in there, 3800. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for this one, y'all. It's been like that a bit a minute. One of the uh, buying some content. Etc. At least get a couple videos out the junkyard trip. Being I had to pay three dollars to get in this bitch. <laughs> That's that salty shit. Had to pay three dollars to get in that motherfucker. Can you believe the audacity of these niggas? But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be coming back. I don't know. That was gonna be sometime soon, but I need to get. I need to get the uh get some vases. I think somebody told me about somebody told me about them hoes like years ago. <clears throat> and I forgot. <clears throat> but I wanna say that those visors will bolt up directly into the box. Of course the color's not gonna match, but I'ma paint them bitches black anyway. But as long as it has the three screw design. Well, they didn't pull them off. I got it there, but yeah. As long as they got the three screws, I think it'll it'll line up and shit. So I'll come out here, grab a set or two, 
and then uh, that'll be something we do this year too. Cause I know for sure the two don't need them. The photos got the stock ones. I might not fuck with them, but I'ma grab two pairs of visors just because at this point they so fucking plentiful. <laughs> yeah. At this point, they just everywhere. They just, if I had a fucking star bit, I'd grab them hoes right now, but I don't, so I'll come back. So till the next time, man, y'all, make sure y'all tap in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, man. Tell the motherfuckers. Now, I've really never went to the junkyard looking for motorcycle parts, and it's probably a bad idea. But since I'm here, let me get some content for the other channel. Mitchell and Commander 3s. Is that a Harley? It looks like a new ass tire, though. I'm just saying. No touring bike shit. There go a can of tuna. Shout out to the can of tuna gang. I mean, if you ain't up on it, you don't know. Can of tuna. Uh, bro, who did this? Who, who, who did this? Like, bro, you just got a whole engine just sitting here. Like, I ain't got to pull it or nothing? You lucky I got other shit to do today. <clears throat> because, yeah, like, it's all right there. Fucking play with me, boy. I, I'll take the intake out that motherfucker. All right, let's go see what else we can find. See, now this is like... A, this is another reason I like to just come and walk because, you know, say if I needed a valve cover or a cylinder head or exhaust manifold or, I don't know, random bolts. Say I'm one of my lifters is bad or one of my rockers is bad or some shit. Come right here to the junkyard. They're just laying on the fucking ground. Push, push rods. They're going to fucking starter. I ain't even got to work for that motherfucker. Hmm. Oil pain. I ain't got to work for it. I mean, you will find shit that's like still totally in the vehicle, but you will definitely find shit just laying on the ground too. Avalanche. Honda Pilot. I'm like, what the fuck is that with that? These rim, I mean, good glass rims. I would rock, I would rock my fucking stock wheels on my rim forever now. So 24, that was all right, but they ain't, they ain't set that bitch off, set that bitch off. <clears throat> Plus, the way that I drive, I need stocks. <laughs> I need stocks. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this tonight. Like, a lot has changed, man. I haven't been out here in a long time. Yeah. It's all good. We'll be back when we need something. Or not.